The Eastern Carolina Campaign Office held a watch party last night as now Democratic presidential candidate Vice President Kamala Harris took to the stage, wrapping up the final day of the DNC. Our R. March UJ was at that party and has more. While the Democratic National Convention happened in Chicago, applause for now Democratic presidential candidate Vice President Kamala Harris could be heard even here in Eastern Carolina. Uh, there's a very different energy now. Uh, folks were already excited, they're already ready to fight, but now folks are just like excited in a different way. Thursday, the Lenore County community filled its Democratic headquarters to watch the final night of the convention. It is really exciting to see this many people that are interested in their future, that are interested in what's going on with them. For Lenore County, this was more than a watch party. This was also the official opening of the Democratic campaign office. Party chair Jimmy Cochran says this office is important to have in this community to spread awareness. Some people don't even know voting will be going on in November. So we are here to let people know that yes, this year you need to vote. Harris previously spoke on how hard work is good work, something that stuck with many. And I've served 22 years in the Marine Corps, so hard work, I'm not allergic to that. And Kinston resident Derek White attended the watch party, eager to hear how Harris addresses points he says are key to the election. Everybody keeps beating around the bush when it comes to the real issue, and that's what are they going to do with the economy. Um, with the, the state of inflation. The convention may have wrapped up, but a big question still remains. When it's time to hit the polls, can the Democrats hold this momentum to November? Without a shadow of a doubt. Only time will tell as the clock ticks down in the race to the White House. Reporting in Lenore County, Amarachi Uche, WITN News. With both the Democratic and Republican National Conventions concluded, next on the plate is the debates. A presidential debate between Harris and Trump is scheduled for September 10. 